I said, look, God, if you want you want me to preach, you're going to have to move. I'm not walking out of here bent over. I said, I'm walking out of here, and my back going to be straightened out. Little by little, let's start getting a little stronger and a little stronger, and I begin to bless God. And I said, God, see, see, people get upset when you talk to God like that. But see, when you have the authority, you have the authority to go to him and say, look here, God. I'm expecting you to do what you said you were going to do. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen. All the way up here. I just felt God moving. He's going to move. Amen, somebody. He's going to move. Amen, somebody. Yeah, he's going to move. Amen. He's going to move. I say thank you or somebody to play with. Amen, somebody. But they don't know who you are. Praise the Lord thy God. They don't know who the Christ they got for paid for you to get here. Say the Lord thy God. And God said he's going to use you. Goes there, amen. Somebody, 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 amen. Somebody
about it. So people want to tell you in the church that you're not supposed to take care of yourself. Amen. But there comes a time in our life when we got to stop and take care of us. Amen, somebody. We got to stop and realize that my vineyard is going there. Amen, somebody. Why I'm taking care and making sure that there's fruit in somebody else's vineyard. Because Jesus didn't interrupt his program All right. to come see about them. Uh -huh. They really thought that them and Jesus had it going on like that. Uh -huh. That he was just supposed to stop what his father had told him to do. Come on. How many of us got people in our lives like that that can't, don't care what God had told us to do? Amen. That as long as we're taking care of them, amen, somebody. We're providing for them, amen, somebody. They're happy with us, amen. I got to go to Bible study. Well, or I got to go to Sunday service. Well, you know, and have you ever noticed well, that the only time they really need you is when you really need the Lord okay. and it's time for you okay. to really get to church because your, your, your vineyard is going bad. You ain't got no fruit in your vineyard and these people start pulling on you when you don't have nothing to offer them Come and on. you need to get to the house of God. But because you have been a friend, And take care of them uh -huh. the instead of taking care of your father's business. All right, man. All right. But the blessing is not in you stopping and taking That's care of somebody right. on, that God has not commissioned you to take That's care of. Wow. That you're taking care of out of obligation. Uh -huh. Amen, right. 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 somebody. Right. Some of us are taking care of people out of obligation. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. Had Jesus been some of us, he would have just stopped out of obligation. I am obligated to marry. I am obligated to Martha. I'm supposed to go see about them, and I'll take care of God's business later. God is saying, no, that's not what I called you for. I got equipped you for that. I need you to take care of my business. And if you take care of my business, I'll take care of that business. If you just take care of my life. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus and Lazarus already had an understanding. Come on now. All right. Lazarus, a true friend, let me tell you this, Woo, and I don't even know why we're doing this, a true friend will really understand. Yeah, you're right. Amen, somebody. Yeah. A true friend will not put pressure on yeah, you yeah, to yeah. break what God has told you to break, yeah, amen, yeah, to yeah. do, amen, somebody. Get that true friend. Yeah. Come yeah. on now. So Lazarus Come said, on. it's all right. Mary and Martha is the one in the frenzy. Because they didn't want Lazarus to die. They didn't want their brother to die. They didn't want to have to go through the funeral. Amen, somebody. That's the way a lot of us are. We don't want mama to leave here with mama in pain. Mama ain't in a right mind. Amen, somebody. Mama ain't if mama did live, she wouldn't be, she wouldn't have a good quantity of life. And then she wouldn't have a good quality of life. She would just be here. Amen, somebody. And so we don't want to go through the stuff. Amen. We don't want to go through the hurt. We don't want to go through the pain. It wasn't that Mary and Martha didn't have confidence in Jesus. They didn't want to go through it in their flesh. Come on now. That's the way. They don't want to go through it in their flesh, amen, somebody. But they want you to suffer, amen, somebody. They want you to stop, amen, somebody. You know, they, they don't care if you give your last dime and you tell them you got, this is the last dollar I got. Can I get 50 cents of it, amen, somebody. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't. Hallelujah. That's all they're looking for. That's it. That's it. for you to take care of them, amen, somebody. And a lot of our mindset has been that we have to take care of other people yeah. instead of taking care of ourselves. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And the enemy, and, and I don't want to just only say the enemy, the church have taught us yeah. that if you are selfish, if you look out for yourself. Uh, amen. There are certain points uh, that I think we become selfish in. Amen, somebody. And But there are times when God will say, hey, you need to stop and take care of yourself. Amen, somebody. Yeah. God told me once I said, don't go to church. I need to talk to you. 
Come on now. I don't need to preach to preach it to you. Amen. I'm just talking about I need to talk to you because right. you have gotten married. You have gotten into a custom of going to church. Amen. So you have become religious in your way. Amen. Right somebody. Now. So I need to do something in you Amen. right here. Amen. Somebody. Amen. I need to shake it up because you're not going to church for me. Amen. Somebody. You're going out of the religious thing. You become religious, just like the religious people. Say it. You clean the outside of the cup, and the inside of the cup is full of dead men bones. Amen, somebody. It's just like you ain't got no life in you. Amen, somebody. I go, I shout, I do the same song, I do the same dance. We all know when everybody's gonna break out, shout. We used to, we had a church and we knew what? when if they you called on Jesus, one, what? two, three. If they said Jesus, one, two, three, and the whole church yeah. gonna tell. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Yeah. Say it. Say it, Apostle. That's it. Because so we got so to the point that we became religious yeah. in our worship. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. it. And the church said, oh, that can't happen. Yes, it can. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And so God said, what I want to need you to do is go to church and be about my father's business. That's it. Are you going to add to the service or are you Come just going there. to be a lump on the law? Or you don't want to pass the call and you say, hey, where you at? Amen, somebody. Come on. Amen, 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 amen somebody. That's it. That's it. So Jesus Yes. Went on about his business. He took care of whatever he had to do. And Lazarus messed around and died. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. He died. <laughs> they put him in a grave. Yeah. Mary and Martha, by this time, is just upset with Jesus. Amen, somebody. That's just right. like some of us. That's right. That's right. We was in that situation. Amen, somebody. And we expected Jesus to show up. Amen, somebody. We expected him to pay them lights. Amen, somebody. And the lights got cut out. Amen, somebody. We expected him to take care of the car situation. And the, they still pulled that truck up and backed it up. Amen, somebody. Hooked that truck up on the thing. And we had to sit there and watch what we had been paying for go away. Amen, somebody. And we were just believing God. And I paid my tithes. And I did. I mean, we started speaking. We started getting attitudes with God. God, I paid my tithes. And we don't see that God is trying to take us to another level yeah. than him and trying to increase our faith. Amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand what some of you say. Well, if I pay my bills, it wouldn't happen. If I pay my bills, it wouldn't happen. Uh -huh. There's sometimes that God will allow you to have money in the bank and then the stuff still get cut off. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And you're like, God, what are you doing? Because God said, the only way I can get your attention is to cut something off. The only way I can get you to see what I'm trying to
previously, right before my mom passed away, I prayed for somebody, amen, that their mother in the other room, that mother went home. So I'm thinking, well, surely, God, I done prayed for her. She done got healed, amen. Y'all better come on, put her in here. Amen, somebody. Y'all ain't the only one. Y'all been in the same situation. May not have been your mama, might have been your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister, or somebody. Amen, somebody. Everybody ain't lost their mama, amen. But let me tell you something. I was in that room and saw that woman get rolled out of there, and I said, God, I know you finna do this for my mama. I just got up to the thing and just got bold with it. Told my brothers them, she finna be healed. The God just healed that woman. Amen, somebody. Then mama died. Oh, God, don't I know. And I was like, oh, my God. Lord, and so one of my brothers that don't really believe, amen, somebody, he say he believe, but he don't believe. Do you know how foolish that looks? Because I just told him yeah. that God get ready to heal yeah. her. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. So he said, now, dear, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but you said that God was healing mama. And before I could get it out of my mouth, because I wanted to say I know, God said he did heal her. Mm -hmm. That's right. But he didn't heal her on this side. Amen, right. somebody. Right. He healed her on the other side. Amen, That's somebody. Right. And so, so right. what should have killed her didn't kill her. Amen, somebody. Yeah, right. She went away peacefully. Amen, somebody. The cancer didn't take her out of here. So what I could shout about is that the cancer didn't kill her. Amen, somebody. She just went to sleep. Amen, somebody. Right. It didn't have nothing to do with the cancer because they thought the cancer was going away. And then God healed her and put, took her to the other side. Amen, somebody. But Mary and Martha couldn't see this for Jesus. But they're like, oh, no, he dead, Jesus. That's it. And by this time, he's been dead long enough to be sick. Yeah. yeah. And they got a little attitude with That's Jesus. Right. I'm mad at Amen, That's somebody. Right. All of us have been there. Look, God, I don't know where you're at. You know, I get up there and I sing that praise and worship. I play that piano. I do this and I do that. And I'm going through this right here. That's Amen, right. somebody. But Lazarus just laying in that grave chilling. Yeah. He's just chilling. Yes. Amen, somebody. He ain't worried. Mary and Martha having a frenzy. Amen, somebody. They out there about ready to jump on Jesus. You know how yeah. some of us are. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. I, mean, ooh, yeah. Lord, I don't know yeah. about y'all, but I know I was a bad person. I like to love to yeah. fight like everything. I'd fight in a minute to drop the hat. And I, I, would, I, I would imagine that had been me. I'd have been ready to fight Jesus. Yeah. How dare you show up as a friend when we don't need you to show up? God, we already dead. Come on now. Come on now. Say that. Uh, but they didn't understand. Oh. That Lazarus' death Come on. had a purpose. Yes. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Yes. And it wasn't so much about Mary, Martha, and Lazarus and Jesus. Amen, Come somebody. On. But if you go on and read over in 12, amen, somebody. It wasn't even about the people that were surrounded around him. Amen, somebody. It was about winning a town yes. and Jews. Amen, somebody. Yes. It was about winning them yes. Jews to Christ. Amen, yes. somebody. Yes. So a lot of times, what looked like defeat to you, yes. amen, somebody, is a purpose and a time for God to use you in a mighty way to win other people. So they going back and forth with Jesus, and Jesus tell them, said, but you, you'll see him again. And they're like, yeah, sure, in the resurrection. Yeah. We all know that. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And then just married, Jesus is like, no, I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am the life. Amen, somebody. And then, you know, and you're going to see him again. And I mean you're going to see him again. So Jesus is giving them an answer to their problem, but they don't even believe it. Amen, somebody. They're so caught up being religious, and they're so caught up in their flesh and what their flesh is going through. So I want to tell some of y'all, don't get so caught up in what your flesh is going through, what your flesh is feeling, what it looks like to somebody else, what it looks like God is putting you through, what it looks like God is allowing to happen to you. Don't get caught up in that. What somebody else think about you? Who cares what somebody else think about you? Come here, Joe. You lost everything you had. And you look little food is serving God. A God that will take everything from you. No, oh, right now, say that. Oh, say it. We're getting ready to, getting ready to close Ooh, out. Yeah. So, oh, oh. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> they laughed at it because I say it about five times before we actually close. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesus is talking to Mary now, and he's telling them the truth. But they can't see the truth, or they can't receive the truth for their emotions. That's 
That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. And that's the way a lot of us are. Yes. We can't receive the truth because we are emotional. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. We're reading the word, and the word is telling us that you will live and not die. But our emotions say, no, right. I don't feel this way. Amen, that's somebody. Right. Oh, y'all not hear me. And then you got people, them naysayers that's in your ear. Somebody, oh, girl, and somebody else had this right here. Yeah, yeah. They went on to glory. They died. Amen. It. it was a painful it. death. Say it was this. It was that. <laughs> Amen. Somebody, y'all no, 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 hear me? Yeah. That when people sit up there and they be trying to get you all yeah. off focus. Yeah. Amen. Somebody. Exactly. The devil has an assignment exactly. to distract you and get you moved from what God is trying to take you to. Yeah, if it's the person sleeping next to you. Amen, somebody. The enemy will use whoever he needs, that best friend. Amen, somebody. That armor bearer. Amen, somebody. That that warlock, that witch, that's a, that you expect them to do it. But then when you got the people that's in beside, right beside you and doing everything, helping you do the thing that God called you to do, you don't expect them. Come on now. But they're some of the worst ones. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's it. Have to be careful sometimes. Why don't you tell your prayer partners? Because your prayer partners ain't really your prayer partners. They really they a gossip box. That's it. So they get your stuff and then take it back out in the street. Ain't that somebody? On, Come on now. Say it. So Mary and Martha is a little caught up on their emotions right now. Because Lazarus done died. They upset with him. You know, with Jesus. And then Jesus decides to show up and, and try to fix this thing. So can you imagine them like, okay, Jesus, how are we going to fix this now? You you talking about you finna raise him up. Amen. You out see him again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus is not a bit more concerned about Mary and Martha and their emotions, just like he ain't concerned about our emotions. Amen. Amen. Said, All I want you to do is trust me yes. and go through right. what I want you to go through. Yes. Amen, somebody. Because at the end of the day, you're going to rise. Amen, somebody. Yes. And you're going to be able to get the glory. Amen. And I'm going to be able to get the glory out of your life. See, sometimes our suffering brings us closer to God yes, it because does. it let us Amen. know who we are in God. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Have you ever went through something and you said, if I ever, because I told somebody, I don't think I ever live on this earth without, I can't imagine living on this earth without my mom. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Yes. And I just knew when mama died, I was going with her. Amen, somebody. Those of you that lost your mama, you probably felt the same way I did. I ain't going to be able to make it. I ain't going to be able to go. I ain't going to be able to do it. And then you're still here doing it. Amen, somebody. Because yeah, your confession was out of your emotions. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Your confession yeah. wasn't about what the word of God right. said. That's Amen, right. somebody. Yeah. That though it, to be That's absent right. from the Lord is to be, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So we ain't trying to hear none of that. Come on now. Come on. We now. want those chitlins and those green beans and those those uh macaroni and cheese. We want all that stuff every day. <laughs> we still want them around as we pick up the phone. Mom, I got a problem. Amen, somebody. Yeah. So when the when the person that can answer all of your questions. Go, you have nobody to lead on but Jesus. There you go. There you go. That's it. So you're like, hey, That's it. hey, God, I wish I could talk to mama, but I can't talk to mama. So, God, how do I handle this situation? That's right. Oh, help us, Holy That's God. right. Oh, yeah. He That's put us right. in situations that seem unfair, but they really do bring us closer to him. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, help us, yes. Holy uh -huh. God. Yes. Oh, yeah, y'all will get free. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. So, Jesus goes to where Lazarus is. Now, before he got there, I can only imagine Mary and Martha were like, okay, now you go up there. We ain't rolling no stone away because we already know this man is dead. We ain't putting no perfume on him. Amen. Because it was custom for them to go up there and dress the body and put all this, this smell, good this stuff on that. They ain't did none of that. Come Amen, on. somebody. <laughs> so they get up there and then Jesus talk about, you're going to roll this away and go call it for No, we ain't doing none of that. You go up there and you do it yourself. You say, no, come go with me. I want you to see. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen. So Lazarus, like I said, just laying there chilling. He ain't bothered about nothing. Jesus comes into the cemetery, and Jesus could have said, get up. But if he just said, get up, everybody would have got up. That's right. But he That's had to right. call him by name. Amen, right. somebody. Yeah. So he said, Lazarus, amen. Yeah. Come forth. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, talk, talk. He said now, look here. Uh, Lazarus, come forth. Get up out of here. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And he called him by name. Amen, Come somebody. Name. And what happened? Lazarus got up. Yeah. So Lazarus, Jesus is calling some of us by name right now. By he name. ain't calling somebody else. He calling yeah. your name. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. He said, look, I want you to come up out of this. I want you to come up out of this situation. I don't want you walking into this anymore. Amen, somebody. I don't want you in this dead situation. 
situation. I don't want you wrapped around all of this dead stuff. Amen, somebody. I want you to get up out of this. And so I'm going to call you by your name. And I want you to come forth. Yes. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Because there's ministry. Yes. There's people yes. that need you. Amen, somebody. Amen. There's a purpose behind you. Yes. Amen, somebody. So he called Lazarus forth. But even though he called Lazarus forth, Lazarus still had to do something. So just because Jesus called you forth, you still got to do something. Amen. And he told him, he said, take them grave clothes off. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Yeah. See, a lot of us still got grave clothes on, on, and we know we're being called forth. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We think we got those grave clothes of religion. Amen, somebody. Grave clothes of, of negativeness. Amen, somebody. If that's such a word. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Some of us have been called forth, and we negative about everything. Amen, somebody. The, 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 it can rain, and the lights go off. Oh, I am I'm so sick of this. And you do, you see people coming, you know, some of them, you see some of them people coming, you just run from them. Amen, somebody. Oh, but they're so negative. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, but negative. Amen, yes. somebody. You don't have nothing positive to say. That's but it. want me to serve your God. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's a healer. He's a deliverer. It ain't even convincing. You can't even convince yourself. Amen, somebody. And so you're not going to convince me, Amen. and you want me to come. He said, hey, now Lazarus, I didn't call you for. Come on now. Mm. I done did my job. All right. Mm. Now you got to do something. There you go. Right. You got to take them clothes off. Yeah. Amen, yeah. somebody. Come them on. grave clothes on. He yeah. said he was bound on hand and feet. Lazarus yeah. couldn't talk. Lazarus couldn't praise it. Lazarus couldn't do anything. Amen, somebody. Y'all not hearing me up in here. When you got those grave clothes on, it's hard to praise it. It's hard to lift those holy hands. Amen, somebody. You done got tangled up in something. It's got you wrapped up. Amen, somebody. It can be church. It's hard to give God a praise in the midst of being wrapped up and tied up in something. Amen. Ooh, y'all not hearing me up in here. So, Jesus told him, said, now I did my part, Lazarus. I need you to do something. That's it. Little by little, Lazarus started unwrapping. Yeah. Uh-huh. He met somebody. Uh-huh. And see, he had to have Lazarus unwrapping. Uh-huh. Because Lazarus would appreciate That's the unwrapping. Right. Come on, Because man. he would realize the thing that got him trapped. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. So when he started taking it off, he knows not where to go back to again. Oh yeah, this would have me bound up. Amen, somebody. I went over there and talked to that girl for five minutes, and she had me wrapped up, tied up. My mind was, I, I almost left church. Amen, somebody. So I know not to go there again because I'm unwrapping. Amen, somebody. Some of us are in the state of God unwrapping us right now. He's been revealing ministry, but yet he's unwrapping stuff. Amen, somebody. Some of the thoughts that we had about churches, some of the things that we had about God. Amen, somebody. I had an idea of God, but honey, And I thought, Hallelujah. as long as I was taking care of everybody else, yeah. I was doing God's will. Uh -uh. Yeah. I felt uh -uh. like if I was going to church every Wednesday, every Sunday, I met somebody. I was doing God's will. Yeah. I thought that I, I was just a blessed person on this earth. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And, and the enemy has a way of letting counterfeit blessings come to make you feel like you're being blessed. Amen, somebody. Yeah. You, you really believe in God for the state job, and then he give you a job, and the enemy bring another job to you, and you take that job, and you're sorrowful in it. Amen, somebody. Yeah. When God was really trying to tell you to wait on the job that you had been promised, that promised amen, somebody. A lot of us, God has promised us certain people. And God had we have made a petition to God what we wanted in a mate, amen, somebody, and yet we didn't wait on God, and we ended up getting somebody else, amen, somebody, and we ended up getting up, getting wrapped up and tied up Come in some there. foolish stuff, amen, Come somebody, wrapped up and tied up in oh, anger, and wrapped up and tied up in all of the negative, you ain't going to never be nothing, if you ain't got me, you won't make it, amen, somebody, and then you start, God start unwrapping that stuff. I'm the breadwinner. Amen, somebody. You're going to do what I say. Amen, somebody. A woman's place is in the kitchen that she needs to be bad for the praise. That's the devil in hell is a lie. You got a purpose. Amen, somebody. And I can go out and do just what you do. Amen, somebody. And I got to understand it. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Thank you, Jesus. The band is right. They met somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. 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 Now, there's some marriages that they work in. Amen. 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 Yes. That's some marriage that, that that is good for. I'm not telling Come you, but there are now. some people that, that 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 ain't that ain't what your your calling is. Amen, Come somebody. It ain't Come that now. you being unsubmissive. It's just that you got Come a on. different calling. Amen, somebody. Come some, on. some women can stay at home and be a housewife. Amen, yes. somebody. But there are other women that can't do that. Amen, Come somebody. Now. And ain't nothing wrong with it. Whether you be a housewife or whether you go to work, God is saying what I need you to do is realize your purpose. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. And so, God called you. Jesus called Lazarus forth. Lazarus came forth. He started unwrapping. And, and, and I imagine that in the wrapping, in the unwrapping, he started to really reveal that I didn't do this to myself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Somebody else wrapped this stuff around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I let somebody else's opinion of me. Come on, Come on now. Call these grave clothes to be on me. Amen. Y'all better hear me up Come here. On, yes. Amen. So, you know, they thought you're supposed to be here uh -huh. by now. Amen, somebody. Amen. By now. Girl, as long as you've been saved, you're supposed to be already evangelist. Amen, somebody. Come on. And they put these clothes on you because then you start running and putting collars on. Amen, somebody. Running around trying to preach, amen, somebody, and, and you ain't ready to preach. You know you ain't ready to preach, amen, somebody. Now, now, you know, God has to call some of us, and he has to call us some of us quick. Because he, you know, bless the Lord. Because he know if you don't call us, we're going to go back where we was, amen, somebody. So there's some of us that he pull, and he pull out, amen. He'll pull us straight out the club, amen, and say, hey, I called you, amen, somebody. I don't want to live, amen, somebody. Amen, he had to call me when he called me, amen. I don't know about a made it, amen, somebody. So there's sometimes that God, just say, yeah, I have to do it quick. But there are times when God starts taking his time with say minister it. and start say developing it. He said, make sure you're calling an election. Make it make sure. Come make on, sure. man. So now these people are just jumping up make and get sure. a call. Sure. God told me I was going to be a pastor. It was seven years after he told me that, that I, I was going in there. In the midst of the seven years, he showed me the building. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of times that, that I could have just jumped and started pastoring That's because right. I heard the word. Amen, somebody. Right. And a lot of us, we hear stuff and we start moving. And these things start putting grave clothes around us. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And then the church Jesus. got grave clothes on us. Jesus. But if you don't do this, you're going to hell. Oh, Where is she going to hell? Amen, somebody. Come on now. If you go over here, you're going to hell. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. You're doing this, you're going to hell. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. I, I, I told him, I said, I don't know why I even got saved. <laughs> because all I heard was you're going to hell. Yeah. You're yeah. going to hell. Yeah. You're yeah. going to hell. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And yeah. so my thing was, I was like, well, I got saved because I didn't want to go to hell. But I really didn't have a purpose of getting saved. Amen, somebody. My purpose was I didn't want to go to hell. I know, right? Ooh. But then when I got in here, I realized that it wasn't about all of that. That Jesus wasn't that type of God. That yeah. God wasn't type, that type of person. That he just sent us to hell over every little thing. No. Uh-uh. He's good. Uh-uh. Grace and mercy coming. Yes. Yes. And I know somebody going to eat me alive about grace and mercy. There is grace and mercy. Say Amen, yes, somebody. Yes, you shall yes. find brimstone all you want to. But sometime down the road, all of us know we done messed up. I don't need a prophet to come tell me on, what's man. going on in my life. Amen, somebody. Right, Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Right. I can read the word for myself. Amen. I know what's going on. Amen. I know where my battle is. Amen. I know where my struggles is. Amen. Ain't nobody got to stand up before me and declare that this right here is going to happen and you're on your way to hell. I already know that if I don't line myself up with the will of God Amen. and do what God called me to do, then I'm on my way to hell. Right. So the gray clothes just keep unwrapping. And then finally, Lazarus is loose. So after the clothes is uh, unwrapped, he said, loose him and let him go. Now he tells him to give him twofold. He said, I want you to loose him and then let him go. There you go. Amen, somebody. There you go. So he didn't hold him in the cemetery. He said, let him go. Amen, somebody. Amen. So God called you forth. Amen. He told you to take the great clothes off so you can go forth. Okay. Amen, somebody. Amen. So Lazarus was loose with a purpose. Uh -huh. He didn't just go through there and decide that just because he was marrying Martha's friend, amen, somebody, that he was going to go raise Lazarus. 
Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he hasn't done it anyway. Yeah. He already did. Yeah. Amen, yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all not hearing me? Yeah. Your situation, uh, your, your, your parents, yeah. or my parents, yeah. what their situation didn't cause God to just show up in your life. He knew that there were some people that he was going to be able to reach that somebody else wasn't going to be able to reach through you. Amen? Y'all got to hear me up in here. Every church is not going to reach everybody in the street. So he put people out there in the street and allowed them to go through some things. Amen, somebody? So that when they come off the street and they go back and enough people can see it for themselves. So if you look over in 12, after Lazarus done came forth, and, and he doesn't been let go. The people went over in there and they went to go see into the city. They didn't go just to see Jesus. They would have you would have thought that they were going to see Jesus because Jesus was in town. No, they went to go see Lazarus. Amen, yeah. somebody. Yeah. They went to go see that he did yeah. this family day. Yeah. Hey, we was at the funeral. Time to yeah. say we was at the funeral. I saw they close the casket up on him. And that's y'all don't know how to, I saw when they put the handcuffs on him. I know when they were putting the stuff out in the street. Yeah, I saw when they picked the car up. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how it is. Y'all know it. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. You know. I read in the paper. Amen, uh -huh. somebody. See, that's y'all. Uh -huh. That's us. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. They know about all this uh -huh. stuff about us. Uh -huh. But when God saves us and set us free, uh -huh. they have to come see for themselves. That's there right. you go. That's, that's right. it. Now, this man you show was dead. Right. You show right. He was stinking in the grave. <laughs> I got to go see this man come on. that's done been raised. They didn't say, I'm going to go see the man that raised him. him. That's it. Amen, somebody. They said, I'm going to go see the man. Amen, somebody. And some of us got some friends that we done seen, and we know they were jacked up, and we did some stuff with them. Amen, somebody. We did some crazy stuff with them. And to see them now in ministry, amen, somebody. We're like, oh, Lord. Uh, amen, somebody. One of my teachers told me, if we are a black man, can be say anybody can preach. Come on, man. That's it. That's it. One of my teachers told me. That's it. She said, what you doing now, Dion? I said, I'm preaching. Sure, Lord. Come on. If you can preach, there's hope for everybody. Amen, somebody. You understand? Words like that hurt people. But they don't hurt me. So they let me know where I come from. They remind me, hey, I was out there. They told me I wasn't going to make it. But look at God. I wasn't going to be here. I wasn't going to retire. I wasn't going to teach. But look at God. Look at God. Look at God. God. God, was going to be in the grave. All right. Can you imagine laughing at Mary and Martha? Come on now. That is Jesus, y'all, sir. That let y'all brother die. Amen, yeah. somebody. Yeah. And you know how we go. We got that attitude. Hold on, I hear it everything. Okay. Yeah, now what you going to do now? Amen, that somebody. Who you going to serve now? Amen, uh -huh. somebody. Now you're hurting. Amen, somebody. Now you're crying. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. Now you're weeping. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. Now you ain't got the stuff that you had one time. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. You ain't got that brother with you now. But you still sitting here. Uh, and they sitting up there. And they ain't caught up in their emotions. They listen to all of that mess. Come on now. All right now. Woo, Jesus. And they should have been like Job. There you go. That the Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. There you go. But bless the Lord. That's it. Amen, somebody. But when you're going through and you're emotional, uh -huh. you ain't starting that stuff. When I was going through, I don't even bury mama. We buried mama and her brothers and sisters. In between then, amen, somebody. They all died in order. Amen. I, I went to sudden none of the stuff that the church people were saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were coming down, oh, you need to stop grieving. You know, you need to get yourself together. You're a pastor. You're an apostle. Man, I'm hurting right now. I, Amen. I, 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 I could care less what you're saying. <laughs> I, I know a scripture. I know the scripture. Be real. Amen. 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 That's somebody. That's right. And when we, when we know the scripture and we're going through stuff, man, it's hard sometimes. To quote That's that scripture, right. but you have to allow That's yourself right. that time because the church has taught us to be strong and to fake it till we make it. I ain't faking nothing. Amen, somebody. I ain't never been yeah, faking. Yeah. I'm gonna start being fake. Come Amen, on, somebody. I ain't faking nothing. The way I feel is the way you see. Amen, somebody. And that's what's in here, and God knows it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right. Amen, somebody. Yes, Lord. Come in. Bless the Lord. How the favor. I'm excited about Jesus. Yeah. Stop running over. Uh -huh. Amen. Just pull up from the flow up on the inside. Oh, Amen, yeah. somebody. You see Yeah. Now later on I might get that test 
testimony. But right now my testimony is I'm hurt. Look, God, I need you to show me what's going on. There's nothing wrong with petitioning God. Say, God, what are you doing? Say it. Hallelujah. That's right. Nothing wrong with it. Hallelujah. Yeah. The church taught us we can't fleece God. Come on, can't man. ask God. Yeah. That's a lie wow. from the pits of hell. Ask him why he's letting you go through this. Well, you got to get a purpose out of it. Why am I going through this? Why am I struggling? Why am I hurting? If you ain't got a purpose in your struggle, then you're struggling for nothing. Amen, somebody. You got to learn why you're going through what you're going through. And the only way you're going to learn is to ask. My grandma used to say, a closed mouth never gets fed. Come on, Amen, somebody. Amen. If you're hungry, don't never say you're hungry. Can't nobody feed you because you look like, you look like a million dollars. Amen, Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You dress like a million dollars. Don't nobody would think that you're hungry. Amen, somebody. But if you're hungry, don't matter what you look like. Amen, somebody. Open your mouth and say, I'm hungry. Amen, somebody. That's the way we ought to be in the body of Christ. Look here, Pastor. I'm hungry. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor, I know you got this assignment for me, but. But, but but I'm a little, I'm a little hungry, Pastor. Yeah. I, I need I need to I need to know what God is doing in my life right now. Not that I'm questioning your authority, but help me see where God is trying to take me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in that process, He starts start unwrapping. Yeah. All right. Unwrapping you. All right. All right. Unwrapping you. Thank you. And then when He gets you, and when you he, when you get through unwrapping yourself, Amen. Then He sends you out. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so He sends them out. They go over into the city. And Lazarus start being a witness for Jesus. That's right. Now, if you look in the Bible, you never see where Lazarus opened his mouth. Uh, that's true. Evidence. That evidence. Evidence. He was just an evidence for Jesus. Evidence. So Jesus walking around preaching and talking about miracles, and he got Lazarus standing there beside him. That is a miracle. Okay. Amen, somebody. Amen. And, and so the purpose came forth because Lazarus was able to win the Jews, and, it, and the people were ready to kill Lazarus Come on now. because they wanted to get rid of the evidence because he was the risen person, and he had been raised from the dead, and they wanted to kill because the Jews was leaving and start believing in Christ. That's it. So when he called you in your purpose and you start fulfilling purpose, people are going to start leaving their place. And the devil is going to be Hello. mad at you. Amen, Hello. somebody. He's going to be Hello. literally upset with you because you're pulling people into the body of Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, no. Ooh, Jesus. See, the devil is comfortable with you, with you when you're out there doing what they do. doing. Come on now. Amen. When we both sitting in church faking. Come on now. That's right. Yeah. The enemy is cool with both of us. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. But when one of us get real, uh -huh. he'll, oh, help us, Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And one of us really start praying, be like, uh-uh, honey, we ain't really, we, we really, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, 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 this behavior ain't right. Amen, somebody. This, <laughs> it sounds like we gossiping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, ain't, we ain't praying. <laughs> Come on. Cause, cause we, we, we talking about, Come on. talking about the pastor, we talking about our sisters. Talking about our brothers, amen, somebody. Come on. And we call it in prayer partners, amen, somebody. And I've been praying, and God said, this ain't right. Mm, wow. Because I'm gossiping, amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> amen, on. somebody. And so then when you start, you look, linked up with somebody that's used to doing the same thing, and then you start changing, they don't want you to change. Right. They show down. They show down. And all of a sudden, now they you don't become down. a holy roller, amen, somebody. Yeah. Who you think you are? Yeah. You done got saved for real. Well, we should have been saved for real together. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 That I used to do. Amen, somebody. Amen. Can you imagine Lazarus' testimony? Amen, somebody. See, I was with dead. Amen, somebody. I was wrapped up in some clothes. I was wrapped up in some things. But there was a man named Jesus that I called friend. Amen, somebody. That came up on the scene. Hey, oh, I feel my hope. Came up on the scene. And he thought enough about me to let me die in my mess. Amen, somebody. So he can come resurrect me. Resurrect me and bring Yeah. 
that you ain't who they think you are. Amen, Amen somebody. Now they can see. Amen, somebody. That right. there is a change in you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And that there's a change growing on the inside. Amen. 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 No matter what you think Amen. or what you feel, that there's something going on on the inside. Amen. And you can't Amen. help it. Amen, somebody. Amen. And you may not even Amen. want to change, but the change is there. And the change is coming. Because people are praying every day. And the more they pray, the more you change. The more they pray, the more you can't go. The more they pray, the more you can't do. Oh, my God. Oh, have a Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Turning point Christian fellowship mm -hmm. will raise you up uh -huh. amongst your enemies. Uh -huh. You'll allow them to see all your mess. Uh -huh. yeah. Have you ever been when you were like, God, yeah. why are you exposing this to this person? Mm. I know they're going to lie for I know they're going to run and tell them. Yeah. I know they're going to do this. Don't do that. God said, yeah, because I want the glory. Come on. Come on. Don't about worry it. about what they do. There you go. Don't worry about what they're saying. Just go through it. Yes, that's it. I'm, I'm about to show up on the scene. Yes. And when I show up, tell you. Come amen, on. somebody. That's it. When I show up, they're going to realize. Okay. Oh, no, you ain't playing. Amen, somebody. Okay. There's some real stuff going on in there. Okay. A man walked in, bent over, but walked out with his standing up straight. Okay. Amen, somebody. Okay. And then they might say, hey, they're they playing church over there. They have some fire up in the place. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And people are leaving change. Yeah. And they get testimonies of surprise checks in the mail. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. They get cars and vehicles and all kind of things that's going on in the house. And they thought, well, okay, but I know to owe you. You did know to owe me. But let me introduce you to the new me. Hallelujah. Let me introduce you to this new person. Somebody. Yeah. And have it walk yeah. beside me. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. And 
they begin to see and miss somebody. They get the evidence of it. And I may not be able to draw them. They miss somebody. I may not be able to pull the Jews. But when they see that, that's walking behind, beside me. And they know. They know that they know that they know. That they know that they know that they know that that person was dead. And in the grave and speaking. And they see them right there. Walking beside them. They can't do nothing. Come. follow me. So when they see you, and they see you ministering the word of God, see you hear you singing the praises and worship going forth. Amen. See you standing on the door with a smile. Amen. Somebody see you smiling when when you was out there in the world, you didn't smile, you didn't grin, you didn't do nothing. Amen. Somebody when they see you now with a purpose, with a different attitude. Amen. Somebody, I got a new attitude because I've been called with a purpose. See, there's something about knowing your purpose. When you know purpose, it gives you an attitude, a new attitude. Amen, somebody. Uh, without a vision, the people perish. If people don't have a vision, they perish. Amen, somebody. And it's like when you get your purpose and you understand your purpose, it gives you a new attitude. Yes. Guess what? I don't have to take this from you. But you know what God called me to do? I got a new attitude. Yes. A change of attitude. Yes, Lord. I've been called with a purpose. know that I'm called to be an evangelist. That I have to try to fit as a prophet. All right. Amen, somebody. I know my job is on the door. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. So I ain't trying to try to sing praise and worship. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Because I know I'll just be the best usher that I can be. Amen, somebody. I know that my ministry is ministry of health. Amen, somebody. So I can put a spread out, amen, somebody, get it in order, amen, somebody, have it to where it look decent, amen, somebody. Can you, I mean, can you, have you ever been in places where people call themselves in the kitchen and they know you look at the food and you be like, Lord, this is just disorganized, amen. You don't know what nothing is, you don't know what it is, because they don't know their purpose. Yeah, yeah. They just fill it in. Hallelujah. All right. God said, now That's I want it. you to fill it in, I want you to know yeah. purpose. Uh -huh. So now what God is saying, turning point, is that I'm fulfilling purpose in you. And now you got to get a new attitude. Amen. No, we're not the old place. All right. Hey, amen, somebody. Come on. All right. <laughs> that, that place got home. Come on. God done moved them on. Amen, somebody. That's it. <laughs> now we're in a new place. Come amen, on. somebody. So if you come looking for the old place, amen, the old yeah. place is gone. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen, amen somebody. That's, that's <laughs> right. Y'all right. not that's hearing that. Y'all ain't right. catching Amen, somebody. The old is gone. Yes, it is. The new is here. Yes, Amen, somebody. Yes, so adapt to the new. Amen, somebody. Because the new have a purpose in your life. Amen. Thank you, Father. Because if they didn't have a purpose, you wouldn't be here. That's right. Anybody that's called to a church is called with a purpose. Yes, they are. To fulfill in that church. That's it. And you need to fulfill your purpose. Amen, somebody. Uh -huh. If it's to be a help, helper, help. Amen, somebody. If it's pray, pray. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Everybody not going to be behind the pulpit. That's Amen, true. somebody. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But Amen. everybody want to be Amen. behind the pulpit for whatever reason. Come on. <laughs> Amen. I, I mean, you know, you saw what was going on with me today. Amen, somebody. So sometimes that pulpit can cost Come you on, a big price. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen, somebody. Come on. Come on. Because you put a title on your name, it can cost you something Amen. to have that title. Amen. Oh, Amen. help us, Holy Ghost. In men warfare, so we had the war. Hey. Amen, somebody. Then we, was, we was in Dothan, Alabama, and then they were in one room and the bed was just spinning. Amen, somebody. And we had to go in there and decree that every witch and warlock was going to stop right there and right there. And we wasn't going to kill our people. Amen, somebody. And I, I decree this morning that we're going to turn for a Christian fellowship, but there's a word. God want to lose the people, and he wants them to go for and do the thing that God has called them to do. With a new Come on now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they had a table and chairs yesterday, and we were sitting. <laughs> Lord have mercy. 
We were sitting here and two men were standing up talking and the women was manhandling the tables. And I'm like, hey, hey, can y'all go there later? Hey, we just used to doing this. <laughs> We ain't got to have no man to come over here. Amen, somebody. We've been doing this. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hey, man, hold that table. Put yeah. that table up there. Yeah. So, so it don't matter. Yeah. We might be few in them. We might be men. We might be women. But we can get out there in the street. Yeah. We can win. Because we take care of what God has called us to do. Amen. 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 Am
Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, I know we got to go. We got to get to Georgia. Yes. I'm telling y'all something. God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he is. He ain't. Don't, don't, don't. See, see, a lot of y'all, I'm feeling your hearts. A lot of your hearts are heavy because you got people out there. And you know what God brought you in. You got friends out there. And you're like, hey, God, I don't want them to die like this. Amen, somebody. And God is saying, hey, just, just, just keep on praying. Keep being that light. Amen, somebody. Quit judging them. Amen, somebody. Because you was out there. And it's, 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 it's amazing to me. Amen, somebody. And that's why I love people. Amen. And you may not know me, but I love people. Amen, somebody. I can love the worst of the worst. Come Amen, somebody. Because I remember when I was in the street. Amen, somebody. All right. And if I hadn't took that love, if, if, if people had shown me the same thing that these church people are showing folks now, amen, I'd have never came in. And it took that one little old lady, amen, somebody, to come and say, hey, son, you got a purpose. Amen, somebody. You're going to be a prophet. Amen, somebody. My family didn't have to take me in. Amen, somebody. They didn't have to come and raise us. Amen. They could have put us in foster care, but they took us in. And all six of them, and they took us in one by one. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Just because mama and daddy was nothing, no mean you gonna be nothing. Hey, you gonna be somebody. Hey, Amen, somebody. Hey, Just wrap them on up. I don't care what your mama's doing right now. She on her way in. Amen, somebody. You may not understand what's going on now, but they on their way in. That's why I told her she on her way in. Amen, somebody. She on her way in. Amen. And she gonna win the basketball team. She gonna win. Amen, somebody. You're ready to be in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Woo. Why don't you see what I'm saying? Come on, man. You, you'll remember this fat man. Amen. Amen. That man will tell the truth. Amen, somebody. Yes. Amen. You'll be like, that man will have no eye mercy. Amen. Thank but I'm telling you all that God, y'all, God is doing something in your life. Yes. Because you done sowed too many seeds. All right. Yes. All right. You got too many seeds in the ground to allow the enemy to cause you to pluck it up. Thank you, Jesus. With distractions. Hallelujah. They miss somebody. They distractions. That's what they are. They keep you wrapped up in your mind. You can't hardly think sometimes. You can't hardly. And it's like you don't know whether you're going or coming. You miss somebody. And God is like, no, I don't want that for you because I got a great place in the kingdom for you. I got a ministry for you. Amen, somebody. And, and you go and you may serve in the soup kitchen. You may serve. You might. They might come and get a table. They may sit up under your table. They might come eat. They may come get counseling. They may come get all of that stuff. And you're thinking that, God, I don't know what to do, but I just keep doing it. Amen, somebody. And then in your own place. Amen, somebody. It's like there's a war zone there. Amen. And God is saying, but I'm getting ready to take that war zone, amen, somebody, and make it a victory count, say the Lord thy God, and God, woo, Lord have mercy, thank God, woo, Jesus, 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 thank God, Jesus, 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 I see you wearing white, amen, somebody, thank you, Jesus, I see white all around you, white means victory, amen, somebody, white, woo, Lord, I don't know shot, in the name of Jesus, victory, victory belongs to you, and your house, say the Lord thy God, you just watch not many days from this. God's going to give you a bit, but you're going to go into a well. You're going to be praying, and all of a sudden, a well is going to come up out of your belly. But God said, I'm birthing intercession. I'm birthing in intercession. And you will pray when one nobody else pray. And you will fast when one nobody else pray. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God said, when you fast and when you pray, don't get caught up on what I show you. Thank you, Jesus. And don't start judging people for what I show you Thank that they got going on. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I show it to you to pray. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. I show it to you to pray. Amen, somebody. And there are some people. That's two, two people. I don't know who they are. But I see God separating you from them for a season because they, they are naysayers. They don't believe in your ministry. They don't believe that you call. Thank you. They don't believe in certain things. Amen, somebody. Amen. And God going to separate you from them for a season. Amen, somebody. Come on now. And listen here. It may hurt you. Come on. It may hurt you, but it's going to better you. Thank you. Because <laughs> oh, we come back here, we're going to see the difference. We're going to see the change. Amen. Oh, yeah.
case had gone on for four, gone by four years. His case was in a box in the DA's office. Come on, and there were three boxes sitting on top of that box. You're not hearing me. And this man comes in as a new DA, decides that he wants to go in there and see what's in these boxes. So when he go, he moves the other boxes which have cases that should have been tried before my son case. Mm. Now see, it was in a, it, it, it gone away for four years, three or four years. It was packed away, amen somebody. I want y'all to hear this. And you got to hear the full story. It was packed away and gone away for three or four years. This man, DA come in and he goes in there in that box and he pulled his case out. And within, what, three weeks, my son was in court. Mm. Now, in between those three, four years, he got a job. He was taking care of his kids. He was doing all the things he was supposed to do. Amen, somebody. Amen. I just talked to him about giving God some of his time. You yes. go back and you give God some of your time, son. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. This, this, and this. And all this was going on. Now, in the midst of it, that case that had been pulled out. Amen, somebody. And all of a sudden, he's in jail. Mm. Man. We had a birthday party planned for him. He was going to spend his first Christmas with his kids in almost three or four years. You understand what I'm saying? So he's got all of this stuff planned, and God, the DA goes and pulls his file out. He goes to jail. All of us are just in an uproar about him going to jail. Amen. Amen somebody. Just told him because he's doing good. And I'm like, man, uh, this man boy was doing good and everything. But since he's been in jail, we just got a call last night ah. about the third, not one, but the third friend, amen, somebody, that he hung around, amen, somebody, got killed last night, amen, Jesus. somebody. Jesus. Y'all not hearing me. Come on, this is the third one that's done been killed. Now, there's no question in my mind on the first one that got killed he probably would have been with him. When the second one got killed, he had, and I just about raised that boy, he had a room in his house for my son. Amen, somebody. So there's no doubt in my mind when they walked in and shot him that they would have walked in and killed my son because if my, my son had been there, he would have defended his brother. Amen, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, hear me? Yeah. So then last, the other night, not last night, but the night before, the one that got killed, there's no doubt in my mind that them two would have been together. Because if you've seen one, you've seen them all. I mean, amen, somebody. So you look at that there's three times that we're upset because they pull that case out. Amen, somebody. And he had to go to jail. Amen, somebody. But I'm excited today, not because yes. those parents had to bury their kids, yes. but I'm excited today that my child, amen, somebody, is somewhere that I can go see him, yes. and I'm not putting him in the grave, yes. amen, somebody, yes. and I'm not standing yes. over here weeping, amen, somebody, yes. I'm not doing that, amen, somebody, yes. because God yes. had a purpose for yes. his life. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And it don't matter where you have to take him. That's it. That's it. Yes. To protect him. Hallelujah. To cause him. Hallelujah. To fulfill his purpose. Thank you. So don't be so quick. Thank to be you, upset Jesus. with God. Oh, Lord. Because it could have been a worse situation. Yes. Thank could have been worse off than what it is. And Thank you could have been standing at a grave. Yes. Yeah, Lord. Or making yeah. funeral arrangements. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So I can hear him talk on the phone. Thank you. Send him a little money, get on the nerve with all that money stuff. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. Oh, Thank you. Thank Thank you. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. But God Thank you, yes. will take you. If you live right, yes. you do what you do. Amen, somebody. We close it. Yes, Lord. And I promise we'll close it. Thank now. you, Jesus. But God, yes. I'm telling you all, Hallelujah. don't be moved Thank you, Jesus. by what is going on in your life. Hallelujah. See, calling, calling. Many are called, but few are chosen. Not just called, you've been chosen. So in the midst of being chosen by God, then God has a way of proving to people your ministry. 
Amen, somebody. Because the stuff that you went through should have already shook you and made you turn your back on God. But because you stood the test, and because you stood the test, he said, now I can release you Come on. Yes. to go forth and do the things that I called you to do. And so before, I couldn't release you because you were holding on to those things. So now because those things are out of the way, amen, somebody, yes. and you now understand that I got a purpose for you, then now you can go and do what I called you to do, yes. and you can do it with all fullness of joy. Amen, somebody. That at no matter what cost, because I've already paid the cost to be here. Amen, somebody. There was no way I was driving all the way from Georgia, all the way up here to Arkansas, and not coming in and preach. I didn't care if I had to sit down. I didn't care if I had to wear sandals. I didn't care what I had to do. I was coming in here. Amen, somebody. I was like, they both dress over there. They be Italian, visual them. They all be dressed. And I'm coming in with my T-shirt and my this and that. I'm not expecting none of that. Amen, somebody. Because I refuse to be moved by the devil. Amen, somebody. And let me tell you, you refuse to be moved. Amen, somebody. Your tears have been stored up in a jar, in a jar, and they will be released for joy. Amen, somebody. There's joy coming to your house, honey. There's a hey, hey, God. Oh God. Ah! Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful ashes. Oh God. We're letting people tell you that you're not. Know that you are. Know that you are. Oh, we always got things going on in our life. There's not going to be no perfect minister, no perfect pastor, no perfect nobody. Amen, somebody. All of us. Amen, somebody. I was preaching a message a couple of weeks ago. Amen. Because all of us got that button if you push it the wrong way. Come on, <laughs> Amen, somebody. Yeah, you push that wrong button. Now yeah. you might see salvation today. Amen. <laughs> if you push that button, you can see me quickly jump. You know, amen, somebody. People say you can't flip flop back and forth. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah, you, they push the right button. Yeah, okay, right. Amen, right. somebody. Right. And the enemy know how to send people to push the right buttons. Yeah. Amen, somebody. And so he done sent a lot of people that's been pushing a lot of the right buttons. And so they try to charge you foolish, but you keep standing. Amen, somebody. So you don't let what you do for people be depicted off of what they do, how they treat you. Amen, somebody. Because if I, if I moved off the way people treat me, I wouldn't do nothing for nobody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. But you think, do you think we wear these titles and that people just treat us like we're just precious kings <laughs> and precious queens? That ain't gonna happen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We get talked about, lied on, spit in our face. Amen, somebody. Turn up back. Then you still have to bail them out of jail. Yes. Still have to bury your mamas and the daddies. Amen, somebody. Amen. Still have to go to the hospital. Still. Give up of your time. Amen, somebody. Still. We still have to do those things yes. because God mm. called us forth with a purpose. Yes. And when you know your purpose, you don't let people pull you away. Amen, somebody. I've been there. Amen, somebody. And so God places us in places, in people's lives, and we can speak. And there's somebody like that you're speaking in, and the enemy is trying to pull in one ear. You're speaking in one ear, and somebody else speaking in the other ear, trying to pull them away from what God has called them to do. And you're like, God, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. And, and don't get sick. Just just keep speaking. Amen, somebody. But this time, speak with authority. Just like y'all was speaking with that, that confession. Speak with authority. No, you will live and you will not die. You will declare the works of the Lord. Yes, you will. You, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you because he's given you strength to do it in the name of Jesus. There's a moment of God right here in the blue and white. Hallelujah. You. Thank you. God is going to cause you, and, and, and listen, I'm not, I'm not about money. So nobody going to think I'm talking about money. God is going to cause you to sow a seed. I don't know whether it's going to be a monetary seed or that's going to be a word seed or a word of deed in somebody's life. And there's somebody that's going to come to you. And you're going to know, not just because they're standing on the street or something, but you're going to know. And when you sow that seed, God's going to lose that person. 
he's going to lose that person wow. in that heart. Amen, somebody. Oh, oh, oh. And God, God, now listen to me. God is going to give you that. Don't go charge me foolishly. Because God, he, God, he said, I gave a dollar to this person, gave a dollar to that person, that person, my person is still bound. But God, when God shows you who that person is, you will know. Because it will not leave you. Wow. It will not leave you. It will oh. cause you to sow a seed. And when you sow that seed, amen, somebody. Amen. And I even I just see that there, there are some clothes that you need to get rid of. And he's going to cause you <laughs> to sow those clothes uh. as a seed. And amen, somebody. And God said he's getting ready to do some things. Because what he's doing, I, 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 I was looking at you yesterday. But what he's doing in your life, he's moving a lot of the old so that he can move into the new. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's trying to take you to a place in him yes. that a lot of the things from the old reminds you of the old you. Come on now. And so he's saying, what I'm getting Jesus, ready to do is Jesus, give you Jesus. new things. Amen. New things. And I'm going to give it to you where you're not sorrowful in it and you're not struggling to pay for it. He said, I'm getting ready to give. So, so even if he tells you, give, give, give some of that away. Give it away. And, and watch him put new things back in your life because he's trying to show you a different you that he really calls you to be different. Thank you, Lord in the God. Name of Jesus. He's in ready to bless you abundantly above all that you can ask for things in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And sister, I'm going to leave you alone, but there's something about your hands. Everybody should shake your hands. You. Some people, you just got to get an elbow to. You know, or the fist. Don't let everybody lock hands with you. Uh -huh. He'll show you. Because when he's ready to use those hands, he don't need that dirt that they present on those hands. Come on now.
It's been a struggle, God. It's not been an easy thing, oh God. But your testimony and your confession has been, God, I trust you. I trust you through it all, God. I trust you through it all. I trust you through it all, God. Oh God. I love you, God. Oh God. So I empty out. These burdens to you. Yes. 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 Lord, I'm sorry for yes. questioning you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lord. For I know all things work together. Amen, somebody. And I'm telling you, man, God. Yes. Yes. 
Which your labor is God. 
every person that you have called to Turning Point Christian Fellowship in Arkansas that's supposed to be here, that God, you call them to this house, and that they will come, God, in the name of Jesus. They will come laborers, God, in the name of Jesus. And we bind the naysayers, God, and God, we thank you right now, and even in the neighborhood, God, that you will cause those people to begin to have a curiosity, God, begin to draw them into turning point Christian fellowship, God, begin to draw them, God, draw them, draw the people, God, draw the urchins, the greeters, God, and the hospitality, God, the musicians, God, and the, the helps, God, in the name of Jesus, call Thank you for Pastor Tanya. Yes. Thank you for Bill, God. Thank you, thank you right now. Thank you, Give them their hearts as high, your God. Yes. Build them up, God. Yes. But it get weak, Father. Yes. And wrap your arms around them. Yes, God. Yes. God, give her the assurance. Yes. Like she never needed before. Yes. We thank you right now. Yes. Give your name and praise, God. siblings or if they people that you call sister or brother. Or perhaps, perhaps the old Tanya they have good standing with them. But God is getting ready to bridge that gap. Yes. 